I think we're safe now. So, since you've been there and done it, maybe you could help us out with the question. What's the meaning of life? You have to live life to the fullest, dude. Look at me. I've done it all. I've jumped out of a plane. I've jumped out of a plane. I've jumped out of a... Is that all you did? Well, yeah, I was 18, so... Yeah. And how was it, you know, your life? Oh, man, it was really good for 70 seconds. And then really, 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 really bad for a couple of seconds. How is that living life to the fullest? Think about it. Would you rather live life to the fullest for 70 seconds or live a boring life for 70 years? 70 years? Straight up. No, 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 don't go. It's boring here. Come back. Come back. Oh. Damn, dementia. Are you doing this on purpose? Because it's kind of annoying. I see. Just drink some of this potion and you'll see. It'll make you part ghost, but no more than a drop, understand? What are you doing? You're too young to be drinking mysterious potions. Oh, don't be a square. What's the worst that can happen? Um, are you sure we're gonna be okay? As long as you only have one drop. See, that's the thing. Anything you can only have one drop of can't be good. They don't sell milk by the drop, do they? They sell it by the gallon. Look at water. That's good for you. Which is why it comes out of the faucet. <gasps> oh. I think I might give this potion a miss. I'm not going to do this alone. I think I had a little too much fun. No. Trick or treating? We planned some. I'm gonna harvest it next fall. No, there's an urban legend that you can summon Mr. Candy. All you gotta do is say his name three times. Sweet, I'm in. Candy, candy, candy! They will taste my sweet revenge! Huh? <gasps> what? We want candy! Well, I don't have any. But you're supposed to bring us candy! No, if you summon me, I'm supposed to exact a terrible revenge upon you for my unjust end! And then give us candy? No! And if you don't mind, I was in the middle of something! Candy, candy, candy! What? Yeah, do you know anyone who does give out candy? No! Candy, candy, candy! Over! I got half a breath, man. Take that and leave me alone. Oh, you really don't live up to your name, man. Please, sir, inspire us. <laughs> oh, I have so much advice for you. Nobody ever used to listen to me, so I made these motivational quotes you get on the internet. Look! There's no me in team unless you move the letters. Okay. A smile is like a hug that your face gives to someone else's eyes. Right. Do you have any, like, um, beginner's advice? Sort of simpler, more kind of obvious ones that make sense? Hmm. Follow your dreams. Darwin, why are we doing this again? In the dream, the naked leprechaun spoke backwards. <sighs> again, this doing we are why, Darwin. I'm following my dream. Last night, I dreamed that I was in this classroom and there was a naked leprechaun talking backwards. What humiliating is this? And I was wearing shoes made of cake and then the room filled with water and I saw two goldfish in the distance and then I rode all the way up to them on Abraham Lincoln the goat. Yeah! And then they offered me a nut for a jar of tuna. A nut for a jar of tuna? Backwards. A nut for a jar of tuna. Huh. But then I woke up. So if I follow my dream to the end, I'll get to find out what happened next. Sense Perfect makes this. What? <sighs> okay, so while we wait for the room to fill up with water, I'll just climb on Abraham. So, how's my advice working out for you guys? Great! I mean, maybe cake shoes were a bad idea, but... Bad idea? Hmm. Impossible. There's no such thing as a bad idea. What do you mean? How would we have discovered milk if someone hadn't looked at a cow's udder and said, I'm gonna drink from that? Like I said, no such thing as a bad idea. Wait, what are you doing here? You forgot your jig dodging cake! Thanks. The less interaction with her, the better. Who is she? Your future daughter-in-law. Really? Darwin! m m m Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha! Ay, ay, ay!
Lady, I'm Darwin's father. Listen, I just wanted to say... No, you listen to me, mister. I don't care that you disapprove of our love. You can't stop us from seeing each other. What? 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 You find us hard to swallow? Then I have plenty more where that came from. How could you let that happen to your own father and say nothing? I mean, if she were a food, there would be a label on her saying, contains nut. If she were an animal, she'd be a crayfish. If she were a bird, her song would go, cuckoo, cuckoo. There's a message in there for you about your dad. Sorry. Has she gone? Uh-huh. And if her spelling were better, she could have spared one of you. Whoa, she even left a kiss next to it. Who kisses like that? It's like a rap star snarl. Dude, for the sake of everyone's safety, can you please talk to her and put an end to this? Mm -mm. Please, no, 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 no, please. Oh, bummer. Usually works on TV. Darwin, why aren't you sitting next to me? He is next to you. But he's also next to you. So? So? I'm tired of having to share my boyfriend with his other boyfriend. Wait, there's a big difference between a boyfriend and a friend who's a boy, you know. Not to me. Darwin, do you realize how this makes me feel? Mm -hmm. Then I'll show you. Come on, from now on, you're my boyfriend, too. You may now kiss the brides. You already have a job. Your job is to look after the kids. Do you, uh, notice anything different? No. You look older. <laughs> don't say anything. She has to work it out for herself. Okay, I'll just run. No, don't do anything either. Just stay here. <laughs> Gumbo, come back here. I'll make it romantic for you. <laughs> Candles. Now give me your heart. Wait! How about some music? <laughs> Come back! I wrote you a poem! Roses are red, violets are blue. You are so cute. I could just eat you. <laughs> Your special present! 